G'day everyone. Uh, as we head out of lockdown, uh, back towards regathering as a church community, we want to think about how uh, our values as a church should shape and direct uh, our decisions and the way we think about it. And so today we come up to the fourth of our values, and that is to be urgent and sacrificial. Uh, and it really comes off the back of the Great Commission. Uh, so just before Jesus ascended into heaven, he left us with a job to do. He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the, Father, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the ages. Now this um, worldwide pandemic has changed a lot of things, but it has in no way changed or cancelled the Great Commission. Our heartbeat as a church is still to make and grow a flood of disciples from our region. Uh, we want to make disciples as we proclaim Jesus and forgiveness and salvation, uh, his kingship, uh, and we want to grow disciples as we grow deep in our love for him uh, and as we serve him with our lives. I love how Paul expressed these things in 1 Corinthians 9. He says, Though I am free and belong to no one, I've made myself a slave to everyone to win as many as possible. And then he unpacks it. He says, uh, To the weak, I became weak to win the weak. Uh, to those outside the law, I became like one outside the law. To those under the law, I became like one under the law. To those, he might have said, to those vaccinated, I became like one vaccinated. Or to those unvaccinated. But his point was, I've become all things to all people, so that by all possible means, I might save some. Paul was willing to put aside his own preferences, his own comforts, for the sake of reaching people with the good news of Jesus, seeing people move from being under the judgment of God to coming into his kingdom and being established in the Lord Jesus. At the start of this year, in the middle of this pandemic, we had Norman Janelle Gorry as part of our church family. Uh, but yeah, at the start of this year, they both got the jab. Uh, they left our church, they left the relative safety of Australia in spite of uh, travel alerts saying, you know, it's better to remain in Australia. They headed back to Kenya, knowing all the risks. In the last a couple of months ago, they both contracted COVID uh, and that's uh, knocked them around a little bit. But they are pressing on with the work of making disciples in that part of the world. And it's because they are gripped with a love for Jesus, a desire to honour and obey him, and a love for the Kenyan people. Brothers and sisters, the temptation for us is to pull back uh, and to fear uh, and to live in ongoing kind of isolation. But our society needs the gospel of Jesus more than ever. And I wonder whether our, our society is perhaps even more open to the gospel of Jesus than they have been for a long time. Just in this time of uncertainty, in a time where people are looking for hope and answers. So the context has changed, but our heartbeat remains the same. Giving ourselves sacrificially and urgently to the work Jesus has left us to do, to make and grow disciples for his kingdom. And he gives us a word of reassurance right at the end of the Great Commission. He says, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Jesus will not abandon us. He will protect us, provide for us, and bring us safely into his kingdom. So let's get on with the work of making disciples. Amen.